An ACDF stands for anterior cervical discectomy infusion. It's a spine surgery where the spine surgeon makes an incision one to two inches in the front part of the neck, usually on the left side, and they dissect through the tissue layers to get to the front of the cervical spine. Now, the reason someone would do the surgery, again, is for disc degeneration, disc herniations, significant facet arthritis that's causing compression of either the spinal cord or of the nerve roots in the back part of the spine. When you get to the front of the cervical spine, the spine surgeon is able to remove that degenerative disc, that disc herniation, and also correct that instability where one bone might be slipping forward on the other due to that significant degenerative disc disease and that degenerative facet disease. By doing the surgery, the spine surgeon removes that arthritic disc and they'll insert a cage. This can be a cage called PEAK, which is a medical plastic. It can be cadaver bone or it can be 3D printed titanium. By putting in this cage, it opens up this disc space that was previously collapsed. This procedure, if it's just a one level procedure, is usually about 90 minutes of actual surgical time. Two levels increases that time, three or four levels also increases that time. While post-op rehabilitation varies by surgeon, as well as patient, as well as the comorbidities of the patient, in general, many surgeons follow this protocol. If it's a one level surgery, you might be in a soft collar for two to four weeks. If it's a two level surgery, it varies. Could be the soft collar, it could be more of a hard collar. If it's a three level surgery, many surgeons will do a hard collar for about six weeks. Again, this varies by patient and by surgeon. The activity restrictions, which also varies, is usually the following. For the first zero to six weeks, it's a 15 pound weight restriction. You try to limit bending, twisting, and excessive stress going through the neck. Physical therapy, guided formal physical therapy, starts at six weeks post-op, and that's continued usually for at least six weeks, twice a week for those six weeks.